Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm King Sway, and welcome back to King Sway Entertainment. Today, we have I Listened, Goku vs. Superman Debate Part 2 from Noble Comics. Uh, I'm doing this because someone pointed out that this guy had a Part 2. Um, I completely smashed his Part 1. The video was somewhere down there. Um, I don't remember. Also, I want to address, before I jump into this and probably smash whatever the fuck he's saying this time, one... I know seeing me is kind of like black. It's, it's the wee hours in the morning. I don't feel like doing all my lighting and everything. I just came down here to take a piss and get a beer real quick, and I, I started answering um comments and shit. Not much aside. Um, some of the links to my books are not working. The I, I put the links down in the descriptions below. I'm going to try. I'm going to look at Amazon and and, and um uh, KTP and see what's going on with that. And see if I can fix them. The only one that I've seen that's actually showing up is Battle World. So that's still a good book, but it's not the only one I've written. So with that much, let's see what's getting. What's up, everybody? In the comments here with part two of the Goku the Super. Hold on. I gotta turn the fan off. Give me one second. All right, sorry about that. Look, uh, I got to keep the volume low so that when I do the edit uh, on the computer, so that when I do the editing, it's not blaring, and I can't distinguish between me and and uh, the uh, the video. Superman video. And I'm making this part two because the video kind of blew up for me, and uh, there's a lot of comments, a lot of people who agreed, a lot of people who disagreed. I'm and one that I disagrees. Can't really respond to all the people who disagreed. There's just too many comments, so I thought I'd make a video kind of going over the most common uh, disagreements with what I said. And a little recap, in case you forgot, what I did say is, in the Superman v. Goku debate, uh, something that I think is often left out is Goku's superior combat speed. Okay, one, Goku does not have superior combat speed. I pointed that out. I'm going to do something I don't ever do. I'm going to go So you can see right here I've looked it up Oh, this is a video. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Fernando. That's a video. I. Where the fuck is it? This right here is the right thing, but I want an Im I'm looking for an image, not the video. So, notice I've never done this on a single reaction video before. All right, so we might have to. Is this it? Yeah. I don't want to look. Just take me to the fucking picture. What the hell is this? You guys see, this is pissing me off. Look, I'm about to jump back to the video because, like I said, I don't ever do this, but I was trying to make a point. So, Superman punches Doomsday in this thousands of times. I can't, I, can I enlarge this? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, shit, right there, as I'm saying it. 3,272 blows and counting. Put the flying fuck. Pick this one up from the flash. I literally said this the last video. 4,034, 34, 35, 4,000, and that's when he actually stops him. And that's in a couple seconds. 
Superior battle speed, my ass. Now again, I've never went out of a video just to prove my point. Usually I try to do all that within the editing process, but the guy saying that pisses me off so bad because he said in his first video, I'm a comic enthusiast. I love comics more. If you know comics, you know Superman has battle speed. Goku's superior martial artist, martial artist ability. Goku's superior martial arts skills. Fuck out my face. Again, I will point to my subscribe button. It is literally me in a cage match. I used to be a fighter. I have knowledge of the fight world. Do I know grappling, jujitsu, wrestling? Yeah. It helped me be a, a better fighter. My bread and butter is kickboxing. Now, let's get let's get to that because I state again Ran Quentin Rampage Jackson was a boxer. He was the old two oh five light heavyweight champion of the UFC. All he did was throw punches. You either knew he was going to hit you with a left or a right. He was, it, it wasn't that unpredictable. And he beat, and again, he was the 205 champion, which means he had to beat a number of guys to get that belt. I don't want to hear anything about superior martial arts. Because every fight, you get experience. And I've said that in the last video. So again, we just, we ain't even a minute into the fucking video and I'm smashing on this dude. Fuck out my face. And the fact that Superman's uh, feats typically don't scale the way that a lot of DC fans think they Fuck do. Fuck out. I already, so, no. So I've already, way, I, I, I want to jump right into it, not take up too much time, but I want to start with uh, maybe not the most common thing I saw, but I want to address it outright, is people who say like, um, this guy doesn't read comics, this guy you don't. never read a Superman comic in his life, something along those lines. And I want to let you guys know, I am a Superman fan. I'm a bigger Superman fan than I am a go- If you are a Superman fan, then why don't you know Superman has combat speed? A quick five second Google search settled that. This is probably gonna be a longer video because we just a minute into it and I'm still ranting and smashing on dude. So just everything the dude says Sounds like bullshit to me. Goku fan. I'm a huge comic guy. I write comics. I publish comics. Obviously, this is this is my arena, right? I know comics. No, it's not. Trust me. No, the fuck it's not. Um, the difference is that I actually read Superman comics. I don't just read one DC event and then go on Comic Vine and look at Superman Respect Thread. And find a bunch of one-off feats that Superman. That's fine, because neither do I. Think that I know Superman without actually reading anything, because I do read Superman comics, but I've read more than one. And I think I like that suit better, here. but that's just me. I'm a, I, my favorite color is blue. Black and blue are my favorite colors. And actually, have an understanding of his consistent character, right? Instead of just reading like events where Superman is just scaled to be as powerful as he needs to be in that event whether it's scaled up or scaled down. Um, so I just wanted to kind of get that out of the way and kind of segue into the next uh, topic is, is we talk about Superman. What version of Superman are we talking about, right? That's was a huge question because some people would bring up like Superman 1 million, uh, Superman Prime, the golden Superman. Injustice was brought up a few times. And it's like, obviously you cannot just narrow it down to just one version, right? You can't say, we're just doing Rebirth of Superman, just New 52. Because um, the character is the same character for the most part throughout his 80 year life. But you can't just try and put all of them together because there are versions that are so vastly different from one another. Like there's a version of Superman that's heavily depowered compared to uh, say the Silver Age version, which is incredibly overpowered. And now, see, that's the thing. Now you're, you're doing power scaling. All well and good. But the thing about it is you want Goku at his strongest, right? So you take Superman at his strongest, and that's where you scale the feats. It's just that fucking simple. You don't take some scaled-down version. Because if you take the scaled-down version, yeah, Goku's going to win. What do you think they do in Death Battle? 
we take all the feats and like okay this is and he's done this 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 and you know these are feats that he's done but we take the strongest version of him because outside of superman one outside of power ups yeah. because that's despite the fact that that's all goku does is a different form as a different power up but that's a different um, yeah just don't get me started on that argument you know, technically current superman is an amalgam of all the versions but uh he's not really right like they can say that in the comics but he's clearly not really because the power levels are so different he couldn't be right so what version uh yeah you can't really nail it down to just one you, you really have to take the consistent oh shit sparky you left aspects and characteristics and just powers in general okay okay anybody see what happened there really nail it down to just one you, you really have to take the consistent power levels aspects and characteristics and just again you see what just happened there he's fighting the flash the flash that moves at super speed actually has combat speed and he caught the flash's fist that is combat speed that is that just He just debunked him, his own bullshit in his own video. Powers in general of the character, the consistent canon pretty much, throughout that 80 year runtime, which is not easy and I think that's where a lot of conflict comes from. Uh, but I'm going to try and navigate that a little bit here. And the first thing is uh, talking about the feats of Superman that do and don't matter pretty much. Because a lot of the, a lot of the comments were people quoting feats at me which was like the exact thing in the video I was telling people not to do. Don't bother. There's no point. It doesn't matter. Of, co of course it doesn't matter. matter. You don't want to you know, get debunked. One time Superman lifted up the entire universe. One time Superman lifted a book with infinite pages. One time he did this and one time he did that. It's like, yeah, I bet Superman has done everything because he's been around for 80 years, right? There's been, what, like 500-something million issues sold of Superman. He's done a lot of stuff over the years. Uh, how much of that is consistent with his actual issue to issue character not a lot of those feats are right um and i'll get more into that later but y you have to look at is this consistent or is this plot induced stupidity right is this just superman serving the plot because he's superman and he has to which yeah a lot of that that's what it happens in fucking dragon ball how many times does goku get bodied the but they still swept him down he's the greatest anime like character out there he ain't even as strong as in his universe some scientific numerical calculation of superman's power and then on the other hand completely throwing physics out the window because they'd say something like superman lifted such and such tons and his striking power is such and such and he's got a reaction speed of one atosecond. second one atosecond second is how fast he can react he's got that's so fast because his fight with Doomsday was like faster than the speed of light. It's like, okay, you can't try and give me some quantifiable one attosecond type reaction speed and then say that their fight, this separate fight, was faster than the speed of light. <coughs> because being faster, quote unquote, faster than the speed of light is not physically possible, right? So on one hand, you want me to adhere. Yes, to it is. Actual real world physical. Look up what a tachyon is. And the next, you want me to throw physical. Guys, when I tell you I'm not just some lunkhead, musclehead ass dude that's over here running my mouth, whatever I'm speaking about, I know. I have four degrees. Psychology, sociology, human biology, and physics. And I extended that because I, I studied quantum physics for fun. You heard what I said, I do it for fun. So I can just look up tech. I didn't. I didn't look. I didn't. 
if you've watched my content, I don't prepare anything ahead of time. At all. Ever. That's my Patreon, guys. Subscribe. I can't show you everything on the Patreon because I'll get flagged. But that's a good friend of mine and one of my main chicks. <laughs> uh, but we're going to go right back into this. So the guy is being not smart. That's, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say he's just being not smart. As I said, I don't prepare this shit ahead of time. I see the video, like, I react to it as you guys see me doing this video. The only time I think I've ever done that is his first video that I ever come across. The, the one that I did the reaction to. Because it, I got hit with so much bullshit. It was so fucking infuriating. And the guy is a smaller content creator like myself. But that video for him really blew up. But I think that's because of the Goku Superman blah 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 bullshit. It's out the window. It's like at least be a little consistent. Um, so it's talking about some of those absurd feats, which which I'd say don't matter, right? A lot of that you can throw out the window because it's not consistent with the base character, which base character is super strong, obviously. That's why this whole debate is happening. But some of these feats that people throw out, like he one-shot the source wall, and it's like that's a multiversal feat. It's like if, if Superman could punch with the force of a multiversal destructive power, how did he ever get beat up by Doomsday or something like that? And that's just a lot... Bad writing. It's just that's bad writing. They power him down and get his ass whooped. Because back then, when Doomsday originally came out, they were never going to make another Superman comic again. I'm old enough... To know about that because I was there. They were and people petitioned by dressing up as Superman and writing DC comics. And so many people wrote in about that that it was like, okay, well, and that's when you got the four different Superman and the Eradicator and Cyborg Superman, Hank Henshaw and shit like that going on because they had to bring Clark Kent back. inconsistencies in writing that is writer to writer that is something that happens in comics that's how he got his ass with my doomsday inconsistencies in the writer that that's actually what a lot of shit boils down to but there is a mass of consistencies to go off of i don't like the respect thread problems as people read a respect thread and think that that represents superman's actual character which is why i wanted to bring up my own superman disrespect thread just to kind of prove a point here so on one hand you have superman lifting the heavens and you know one shotting the source wall and one out of second reaction speed on the other hand you have the heroes in crisis uh event where harley quinn gets a drop on wonder woman superman and batman and fights them to a standstill so one out of second reaction speed not fast enough to stop harley quinn or a lot of people brought up injustice. How about whenever he got his ass beat by Alfred the Butler? Alfred was hocked up on Super Soldier ser uh, Super Serum that gave him the same powers as Superman. I don't want to hear that shit. And Alfred is also a trained combatant in martial arts. Alfred is ex-military before he started being a Butler, if I remember correctly. Mi six. That much aside, again, bad writing. With the ability that Superman has, if you look up Superman, he has the ability to hear every heartbeat on Earth and can tell you Bruce Wayne's heartbeat from wherever he is. But you think he can't decide, oh, somebody's up oh, over there. No, it's writing. Because he can, with all his powers and the way he's trained, he can pretty much do it. You're never going to get the drop on him unless he's asleep. And there's a version of there's an iteration of when he's so charged up, he doesn't need to sleep. The guy just goes and floats in space just to absorb solar radiation because he doesn't need to sleep.
who had a super he doesn't need to eat he doesn't need to sleep telling me that this badass master martial artist superman because that's that's another thing we'll talk about later got his ass beat by the butler or how about whenever superman got beat by joe i just explained to you that alfred is ex-military and shit like that he this is called downplaying and minimizing it's like oh my god he got his ass beat by a Butler. No, he got his ass whooped by Alfred motherfucking Pennyworth. That guy, as I said, he takes care of the bat vehicles and equipment when Batman's out. The guy's got to be a mechanic, a nurse, a nanny, a, a, just like a chef and a butler on top of being a physical uh, a physical threat because he's a, he is a martial artist. He's trained. On top of that, he cocks back with a motherfucking shotgun. There is an actual still where Alfred is looking at, I don't remember who it was, but he's looking at... Uh, Somebody says, do not confuse me with my master. He has qualms about killing. And he cocks his shotgun and says, I have no problems with that. I'll blow your fucking head off. And he's saying something about Jonah Hex. But it looks like Jonah Hex is shooting with kryptonite bullets. Just from, I, I don't, just from this. And, you know, it's got the green glow like kryptonite. Superman is invulnerable to bullets. So, here's the thing about confidence. If I know I'm bulletproof and I know you got a gun, why the fuck would I move? It's not until I figure out what kind of bullet you hit me with that I'm like, oh, shit. And even then, you can see him, his back is turned. This dude don't use no fucking common sense. And he's published comics? I point again that, again, like I said, I know about a lot of shit. I'm also a writer. I put the links to my books down in the description. Every video. You want to see how good my writing is? Check that shit out. Also, I'm doing uh, audio books. So all you guys got to do is pop in and, and just listen. Jonah Hex, a cowboy. Know what his powers are? being a cowboy or how about whenever he got beat up by batman this one out of second super fast reaction speed he's multi times faster than the speed of light but gets punched in the face by a regular human that is batman in a power suit and also what you're not showing is batman punching the guy in the face with brass uh, uh kryptonite brass knuckles Superman doesn't use his powers to the to the max. He doesn't. Flash doesn't use his powers. No superhero uses his powers to the max. Shut up. If, and you're a comic person? Shut up. You know this. Fuck out my face. That's why this guy... We're, we're not even halfway through the fucking video. And I know I've ran enough to make it twice as long. He doesn't move that fast. Because he doesn't want to. Even then, again, if I'm bulletproof, what the fuck is your punch going to do to me? It's not until I figure out, oh shit, and my head turns, oh shit. Even then, Batman, that iteration of Batman, the Dark Knight, he's wearing power armor. Specifically designed to fight Superman. So that's calculated how much force needs to go into an imp a point of impact to actually start to hurt him. Moving at regular human speed. Or that time he got his ass beat by Venom in the crossover. Or how he I remember that. That was just shitty writing. Bullet. Even the 40s version of Superman was faster than a speeding bullet, yet he still gets shot. Or how about that time he was struggling to hold up a single helicopter that was falling out of the sky. And my point of your, this is not to say that Superman is not powerful. My point is to say... You're making my point Superman about bad writing. ...write the character in a way that is inconsistent with the core character. And I'm sure the Superman fans would happily say that all these instances I just brought up should not be counted towards the character, right? Like, they don't count. Those don't count, right? We shouldn't consider that his actual reaction speed and his actual power level of course not i'm saying the same thing with those high feats that are all 
right. We're talking about reaction speed and shit like that, right? What about the time Goku got shot in the back and got bodied? What about the time a regular laser went through Goku and, and he got bodied? You know, somebody just called him black and was like, Psh. As I said, you got to be ready for something like that. Like, just. The thing about it is, if you go back to Dragon Ball Z during the point of the Cell games, where Goku and uh, Piccolo were getting their licenses, somebody shot at Goku and Goku caught the bullet. Why did he catch the bullet? Because if he got hit by the bullet, the bullet would have done something to him. He just had to force in the speed to catch the bullet. Superman wouldn't have caught the bullet because it would have just bounced off of him. There's a diff and that's a difference in durability. Again, I'll, at that point in durability, because we're doing inconsistencies, they sustain planet-destroying blasts by raising their own defenses with their own energy to ward it off, to uh, uh, an energetic shield around their body. Right? And yeah, a regular laser. Phew, body Goku. So yeah, you do your little disrespect to Superman. Goku has the same thing. That beer though. Also inconsistent with the core character. Another point that was often brought up was my analogy of, you know, skill beating strength and a lot of people would say like well even the most skilled fighter on earth would you know get torn apart by a silverback gorilla you know which is true fair point except i don't think that this is uh the reality of the goku v superman debate i don't think superman is that far ahead of goku in terms he of is power. i mean goku is consistently shown to be universal multiversal in power no he's not I think that the disconnect may happen because of like how feats are favored and shown. That's and not canon. A lot of time, it's like a strength feat. That's an offshoot, and you're talking about shit and being inconsistent. Where with you know Dragon Balls, he's fighting Cumber and everything. That shit is not canon. Yeah, I know. Like, I, look, I'm not a Dragon Ball fan anymore. It 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 lacks any kind of actual story. It acts. The story is the next fight. It lacks character uh, development uh, look more often than the whole time is they're screaming because the dude that's writing it doesn't even know what the fuck he wants to do happening in the next one look that up but that is not canon to it and even then goku got ultra instinct once and that was during his fight with jiren and it wasn't even mastered and he hasn't been able to do it since but they capitalized on that because the, the fans want to see more Cash grab. Z is usually some martial arts feat or like shooting a laser beam. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of it comes from training, right? So it's like they train so hard that they're now at this power level, something like that. And uh, the characters seem a lot more vulnerable, I'd guess, because they both take a lot more damage. And in Superman comics, typically, it, it's not quite the same. Or like in, you know, Dragon Ball Z, their clothes are getting torn off, they're getting scratched and bloody and da 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 and you don't see that quite the same, I don't think, in Superman comics. Plus, I think Superman may appear stronger, typically, because it is just throwing big, heavy punches back and forth. He, he doesn't like, appear stronger. He of is stronger. Having way more weight and gravitas than, like, throwing a hundred punches and kicks like they do in, in Dragon Ball Z. I may just come across that they're a lot less powerful, even though I think the power levels are a lot more comparable then maybe some people want to give it credit for No, it's not. And this is all not to mention the fact that... As a fighter, I can tell you... Force equals speed times... Or mass times acceleration. Let me correct... The, the force equals mass times acceleration. Those bigger punches, though, often come a little slower because you draw back to get the force of it. It's the quicker ones that sting more, but they have less force behind them. So maybe that's why Superman doesn't always throw everything at super speed.
that in Superman often holds back. You got to take into consideration that he can't turn his powers off. So anybody with super superpowers like that, to his degree, they have to learn how to be in the world. I'm not saying Goku doesn't have to do that as well, but take into consideration, he's had to do it longer. So he has more control. Goku got up to that level where Superman was just like there since he was a little fucking kid. So he's had more practice doing it. He holds back. Superman versus Darkseid and Justice League. I, uh, I don't. I think it was Justice League Ultimate, where Superman flat out says, "Everything is like a wet paper bag to me. I'm always holding back. I'm always trying to make sure I don't hurt something or someone." And he says, "And he looks at Darkseid and says, you know what? I think you can take it.'" I'm about to show you just how hard I can hit. And he punches the shit out of Darkseid and sends him flying. As Darkseid's flying, Superman shoots up behind him and double hammers him down and comes down and starts. He's like, no, I'm not holding back this time. You getting me full force. Because I think you can take one of my punches full force. Goku doesn't hold back. The difference in, in, in all that shit. And Strength means different things for comics and uh, anime, which is pretty self-evident. Like if someone describes a strong character in comics, that's not the same as saying a strong character in anime. And I think that's really because... Yeah, of because how comics outclass anime characters. And what's important to their characters. So Superman's Period. strength comes from lifting strength right that's what his feats are it's him lifting heavy stuff but when they say goku is strong or you talk about goku's strength it's really just more of a general power right so goku doesn't have the lifting strength that superman has and superman is no doubt physically stronger but when it comes to power level um i don't think those two can be equated quite the same way yes they can because goku consistently multiversal universal at the very least say in super saiyan blue form Superman was sending quakes throughout the universe when he was boning the shit out of Wonder Woman. Now, I've, I've deviated from what I normally do in this particular video, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it again. But feel free to look that up. The shit that Beavis and Goku were doing when they were fighting, Superman did it fucking Because on someone with comparable strength and, and durability, hey, I don't need to hold back. Bitch, you better get all this foot long. And I'm about to break your spine. Lift that leg up, arch your back, you know what I want. Yeah, just like that. And it sent waves throughout this dude. You can do Kaioken, instantly get 10 times stronger. And talking about reaction speed, the one out of second reaction speed, well, to Goku's points, you know, he's got his reaction speed feats of responding to hit, who's literally skipping through time. So, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, another big one that I kind of mentioned was the number of comments, this may have been number one, the number of comments of people who said, um, actually, Superman is a master martial artist. Superman knows such and such forms of kryptonian martial arts and he, yeah you know, i forgot about that trained by batman he's trained by wonder woman superman is a master martial artist if you didn't know and boxing I, is a martial art I know, I know he was trained by batman and, and wildcat and yada yada but here's the thing just because it says in the comic superman is a master martial artist doesn't mean he actually is because if he's never once even shown a little bit that he's a master martial artist, then it doesn't matter what they say. Superman has never one time ever 
in the comics exhibited a skill in martial arts that's anywhere comparable to somebody like Goku? Yes, he did. What are they doing right there? They were throwing punches. That's left and right. What does Superman do? Throw punches. Left and right. Again, my point to Rampage Jackson. He's never had a fight like Goku. The fight that people imagine in their head of the Goku v Superman, of the one out of second reaction speed master martial artist, that fight that they're imagining has never occurred ever in Superman's history. He has never fought like that. But on the Goku side, there is a scene where the Flash and Superman are playing chess. Now, the thing is, they're playing chess and having a conversation. And it looks like they're doing it in, reg in you know regular time. And then you find out they're doing it at such a speed that everything around them is pretty much to a standstill. Chess! And conversations. Again, for someone that is a self-proclaimed, I'm all about comics. Fuck out my face, loser! Dude, you piss me off. And I'm actually highly thinking about when I edit this video and, and put it out and everything, I'm going to send him a link to this. Bro, you suck. I've never started a beef with another channel in my three plus years of doing YouTube, but bruh, we can do this. Goku would fight like he fights every time he fights. But in the Superman team, it's a delusion. You're deluding yourself to think that that's how he would act. Because this isn't just power set v power set. This is Superman versus Goku, character v character. Superman has never behaved like that before. And if Superman was this master martial artist, I would say, why did he get killed by Doomsday, right? Why didn't he use his Kryptonian Taijutsu, Kryptonian uh, Taekwondo, whatever, and just, uh, you know, subdue Doomsday? Why did because he just trade blows back? One, boxing is a martial art. It's called pugilism. That just throwing punches is a martial art. And just like when you throw punches and kicks, you need to be trained to do it. Why does he just throw punches? Because that's what he fucking prefers to do. His style is boxing. He's the undisputed heavyweight motherfucking champion. He's Iron Mike goddamn Tyson. I am a kickboxer. I've said this. My brother, who has the same martial arts background as me, prefers to box. Why doesn't he just... Because he doesn't fucking want to. Back and forth. Like he does every single time he fights. I don't know if Shit. I've ever seen... Oh, look! Throw a kick. If you actually look at what the hell happened... Okay, okay, okay. That's, I'm going to show this. I'm going to run this back. artist I would say why did he get killed by doomsday right why didn't he use his Kryptonian Taijutsu Kryptonian uh, Taekwondo whatever and just uh you know subdue doomsday why did he just trade all right that's a punch in the face like punch. he does every single uppercut time he fights. I don't know if I've body shot right. body shot then to the, he's literally going using what's called body head body that is a tactic in boxing, so you don't know where the punch is going. If all he was doing was throwing punches, he'd just go like your average street fighter. They do what we call head hunting. I'm just going to punch you in the head. I'm looking for the knockout blow. No, he's fucking dude up all over. Body, head, body. They just The fact that this dude, uh, like, uh, he's talking about martial arts and doesn't know anything about martial arts. He's talking about comics, and he doesn't know anything about comics. I don't give a fuck what he says. He's never been in a fist fight. 
Not one that he's won. This is what gets me. This is what pisses me off. How have you never been in a fight, but you think you can deliberate on one? The guys that commentate on fights, more often than not, Joe Rogan and, and, and everybody else, they've been in fights. They're martial artists, or they studied the subject so much that they actually know what to look for. No different than sport, like any sports commentator. This dude is some fucking filthy casual, and I said what I said. Um, Holy shit, Kingsway's going, yeah, bitch, fuck. Like, Uppercut in the butt, just, just, yeah. Never has to. Like, Even you know, more to my term, martial arts. He's using martial arts knowledge, which comes with experience, which comes with... You can't just fuck say this dude. someone has this ability and expect me to believe it. When he's literally, yeah, I'm talking over him. He's literally, literally contradicting himself with what he's doing. Maybe it's because I've actually been in fist fights before. Maybe it's because my, uh, I know what I'm looking for. Oh wait, no, that's why I know more than him. Like a, a writer came out and said, "Yeah, Batman has the ability to fly. He's actually always had the ability to fly. Batman can fly. It's canon. But then every time Batman falls off a building, he uses his grappling hook and swings around." You wouldn't still look at me and say, oh, yeah, yeah, Batman can fly. Like, in a debate, you wouldn't say, oh, yeah, Batman has the power of flight and he can da-da-da. Just because... Okay. All right, look. I had a character that I was trying to get out into the comics world. I actually wrote novellas about him. His name is Dorian Hunter. I've actually named my youngest child after him. Yeah, after one of my my book characters. Me and my wife. Dorian Hunter was super fast, was super strong. Dorian Hunter had regenerative capabilities. Dorian Hunter had super strength, super speed. He had super hearing, and he could uh, alter his eyes to see in like, night vision. He also wore armor, had a helmet that had an LED screen, that helped him with tracking and shit because he had a guy in the chair. He used a utility belt. He used grappler shots. Now, why did he do all that if he could just jump or run wherever he was going? Because he didn't want people to know what he was fully fucking capable of. He wanted to keep you guessing. He didn't want you to know the full scope of his powers because if you know the full scope of his powers, you know what to expect. And it's in any fight, you want your opponent to not know what you're about to throw at him because the one you don't see coming is the one that puts your ass down. Because it's been said but never shown. Okay? And if you pull up some screen cap of Superman like blocking a punch and punching someone back, you know, and being like, well, this is him using his martial arts. It's like, no. This even goes through, like I said, bad writing. Muhammad Ali. Actual martial arts. Whenever he is in a combat sport, he loses. Like when he lost against Muhammad Ali. Um, who, Muhammad Ali is a master boxer, but nowhere near a master martial artist, right? Like, I don't think... He... Boxing is, again, a martial art. I guess he doesn't count as a martial art unless you're throwing kicks in there. Fuck this guy. Like You would put him on the scale of, like, Batman. Like, you'd think someone trained by Batman and Wonder Woman and da-da-da could take out Muhammad Ali, but I guess not. Yeah, that that's pretty much Again, what I, I to address. A few... See, all right, the thing is, I have that comic. I'm not going to go look for it because it's going to take me too long. And I don't feel like editing that. That was a regular fight. Like, Muhammad Ali wasn't amped up on anything. It was just a boxing match. It was trying to say that Muhammad Ali's fists are so dangerous, they can beat down Superman. That was shit writing. Fuck out my face. Like, I like just... Two of these main points. I wanted to say to the, the, the comic book fans out there, 
when it comes to somebody like Goku, yeah, there, there's one timeline, right? It's easy. You see where he started, you see where he's at now. It's a lot easier to debate with that character because they are a lot more consistent just kind of heading in this No, movie. there's more than one that fight with Cumber and everything. That's not canon. Yeah, for Superman fans, you can't get sucked in. <clears throat> Zeno like Goku. Just reporting on his top five feats that are totally inconsistent with the rest of the character and pretending like that's how the character is all the time. That's just not how this works. The He's getting shot with fucking kryptonite bullets. Issue to issue character Superman versus the issue to issue character of Goku. Goku obviously wins. Because I want to reiterate. The oh, look, that, that was right a over the shoulder throw. Are imagining in your head this fight going. That's a martial art move. That's never happened before. Ever. The more this guy talks, and he's got shit in when his fucking in, the in his video that contradicts what he's saying. In the fight, he has never ever done even a single time. So maybe think about that, and uh, let me know why I'm wrong in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. What's up? Oh everybody? shit! I hit I hit the thing too late. Look. I don't even know how I'm going to see when I I'm going to see how long this video is in the editing process cuz like I said it, it's 16 minutes and 23 seconds on his end. I've ran it I guess make it double so as this shit's about to be like a half hour at least. I'm not even sorry for that. This dude's ass. That much aside. I already said what I need to say. What I need to say. So we just going to sign off. If you like the video, uh, like and subscribe, hit the notification button and the bell. Uh, down in the comments below will be links to my, my one book. But I got it. Like I said, I, I got to figure out what's going on and reestablish the links to my other books. Also, links to my Patreon. I can't show you everything in the Patreon because uh, it's got naked chicks in there, and I ain't trying to get flagged by YouTube. Um, also, links uh, link to my merch store will be in there. So if you guys want to help support the channel in a different way. Let me know. Also, uh, I'll be putting um, my books in audio in audio form on my Patreon. So it's actually a deal to get all my books for the subscription to Patreon rather than buying each of them individually. Uh, yeah, that's and I'll be putting more on there. And think like again, like I think the projects, the things I'm working on, and you guys see that I am working working on different projects because well, I'm showing you guys. Gameplay videos that I'm, I'm, uh, I might not add to. I know those aren't big sellers, but I know I, I do see that guys are wanting that. Well, I should say people that people do watch my video game videos and also uh, my audio books. Like I said, you can get them for free. Uh, I don't know how Discord works, but I when I figure that out, I'm probably going to do a, a Discord so that we uh, we can have that. <clears throat> and when I get big, when everything is big enough, I'll do giveaways. So, in the meantime, between time, I'm always with these peace signs. I'm your main man, King Sway. And I'll catch you in the next one.